The People's National Movement believes they've checked all the necessary boxes to claim control of the Sangre Grande Regional Corporation. The corporation stood at a four-all deadlock following Monday's polls, but the party's chairman, Franklin Kahn, announced the party's stance on Tuesday during a news conference at Balize House. Peter Christopher reports. PNM Chairman Franklin Kahn told reporters at Bali's A House that based on changes to the Municipal Corporation Act in 2013, the traditional tiebreakers for the local government poll had been removed. He explained that with those changes, which were meant to incorporate proportional representation into the selection of aldermen for regional bodies, the weight of the popular vote changed as well. The PNM Chairman said that based on the spirit of the law, the fact that the PNM claims the popular vote and previously held control of the corporation meant that the corporation should be returned to them. This press conference is, is dedicated to say that we are declaring a victory at the San Grande Regional Corporation based on the fact that we have the popular vote and we have the incumbency of Mr. Terry Wonder. And Mr. Terry Wonder will continue to function as the chairman of the San Grande Regional Corporation until such time that the San Grande Regional Corporation could elect a new chairman, if at all. Mr. Khan announced that Terry Rondon would continue to operate as chairman of the San Grande Regional Corporation as a result. The PM position is as follows. Seeing that the spirit of the law with the revision of the Municipal Corporation Act with the selection of all the men was based on proportional representation, it is only natural, it is only a natural corollary of that um, situation that the popular vote should have a say in who runs the corporation, because that is the spirit in which the legislation was written. However, UNC Chair David Lee told C News during a phone interview that the PNM could not make such an announcement without getting official notice from the EBC. Presently, we have filed um, recounts in two seats in the San Grande area, um, San Grande Northeast and San Grande Northwest, and one of those seats um it's less than 45 votes so that we have asked for recounting those two districts and so i'm very surprised that mr khan could have declared um control of the San Grande regional corporation when the ebc has not even declared um certain corporations and the unc chairman said they would consult with their lawyers if need be concerning the matter peter christopher c news the political leader of the United National Congress, Kamala Prasad Pasasa, says the People's National Movement is being deceptive in their declaration of victory in the Sangre Grande Regional Corporation. In the media response, Mrs. Prasad Pasasa notes the claims made today by the PNM's chairman, Franklin Kahn, and said these claims are based on a nonsensical legal interpretation about selection of a chairman through incumbency of the PNM Sangre Grande chairman, the popular vote, and spirit of the law. She said the facts are the UNC records victory in four seats in the Sangre Grande Corporation, and there's no recount for those seats. The Elections and Boundaries Commission is still to recount votes in two seats claimed by the PNM. The law makes clear provision for the manner in which a chairman of a corporation is to be elected, and it isn't for Franklin Kahn or Stuart Young or any minister to try to change the law.